I'm Steve and this is Abandoned and today I'm in Macclesfield looking for what could be an old tramway that exists going over the canal. Hang on, hang on. So this is my second time here and I need to just be clear that, um, yeah, I got it wrong first time. I'll learn some more information towards the end of the video while I was making it and I had run out of time to go back and redo it so I've come back on a different day. Well then, yeah, so this is the second time here. I've learnt more information so uh, let's see what I can find. Because I don't like wasting old footage, here's the old intro I did from another better day where I had no idea what I was doing and got it completely wrong. I hope this doesn't fall over. Hi, that down there is Macclesfield and I've noticed on a website while looking at listed canal bridges, I know I have a great life, that Bridge 41 over the Macclesfield Canal had this quote by it saying that it was possibly a tram road bridge. So I've walked all the way up here to make a video that might not be about an actual tramway, but that's the whole joy of it. The joy is in the discussion and the discovery, and even if you're wrong, it's about having fun while doing it. So, while I adjust my brand new glasses, because they're falling down my face, let's go and see what we can find that backs up the theory that Bridge 41 over the Mac Canal is a tramway bridge. And then we'll go all the reasons why it isn't. I may have found some evidence, but it seems too good to be true. So I'm putting my skeptical hat on. Plonk. Rails. I found rails before being reused as fence posts. Over on Dane's Moss, there was a few rails discarded used as fence posts, and also in another place I've just forgotten. Poynton. How can I forget Poynton? Anyway, oh, there's another one. Look, check this out. I'm gonna switch the camera around. Do you see this? Iron bit, metal bit. Is that rail? Is this old plate rail? Um, I don't think so. It's quite light. Just lifted it up and dropped it again. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Uh, they, it doesn't look like there's any erosion or corrosion on the inside where you would expend, expect a wheel to be, but you never know. In lieu of having a drone, my phone on a stick will have to do. <laughs> Okay, so this is Macclesfield, I've been walking back and I've been getting B-roll and I've noticed an obscene amount of churches, look at this! So you've got one there, uh, there's another one there, there's another one, where is it, there, and one behind it. That's too many churches, surely, that's, that's loads of churches in a short space. Did all towns have this many churches? That's way too many churches. Gotta be. So while I was walking back, I decided to have a quick Google about Macclesfield, and I've learnt a little bit. It's another church! Another one! Anyway, decided to have um, another Google about Macclesfield, and apparently the town was founded in the 1200s, which is interesting. Um, comes from the name Michaelsfield, supposedly. So Michaelsfield corrupts to Macclesfield over time, you can see how that works. Um, so yeah, that's quite interesting. So uh, founding in the 1200s, uh, so market town, still here now, kind of big. Uh, interestingly, it was one of the few mill towns during the war not to get bombed. 
So that's fun. Uh, Macclesfield's main export during the Industrial Revolution was silk. So that's neat. Um, if you like your silken clothes, you would have come here. Sadly, there's no silk mills anymore here. But there is one mill, or a museum, anyway, called the like the Paradise Mill, I think it's called. Um, so, I don't know, go there, I guess. Wow, that's a footpath. Apparently, this is the way to go. Well, these steps look cool. Look at these. How to turn the phone around? Look at them. Neat. Right, okay, where else did I find out about Macclesfield? So, yeah, I've already told about the stations. I've already been here once before, or well, a few times, when I did that five-parter on the Macclesfield station. So, <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. My phone says it ran out of space. So I have no idea how much video I lost. Anyway, long story short, I'm on a footpath. So as we're talking about the bridge over the Macclesfield Canal, uh, we need to be talking about the Macclesfield Canal. So the Macclesfield Canal is a canal that was built in Macclesfield. There we go. End of. Now, it was engineered by Thomas Telford in between the years 1837 and 1831. And it runs all the way from Congleton and below, actually no, all the way from like Stoke, I believe. Uh, it runs all the way up through to Marple, where it conjoins with the Peak Forest Canal, or I think Peak Forest, anyway. It joins at Marple over near where I did that video about the um, 1790s tramway from Samuel Oldno. Anyway, so... Samuel Oldno, Benjamin Oldno, I forgot his name. But yes, that's the Macclesfield Canal. And it had lots of bridges thrown over it. This one's number 41. Uh, they count from Marple towards Stoke. So bridge 91 is further down that way towards Stoke. And bridge 41 is further that way towards Marple. Um, the Macclesfield Canal may have been constructed as a railway. Um, there were, you know, 1830s, there was a big argument between rail and canal. And uh, it very nearly was a railway. But it, in the end, they decided to build it as a canal. In hindsight, that was probably not the brightest idea, but rails came to Macclesfield only 15 or so years later. Anyway, with the construction of Beach Bridge Station and the joining with the Manchester and Birmingham Railway branch running from Cheadle. There we go. I just pulled it all out of my brain. Didn't even have any notes. Look, this hand is empty. No notes. No notes in that hand. I have just that little of a life. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. But that's quite funny. So I'm currently walking down Hollins Lane in Macclesfield where I need to do some explaining. So over this wall here is a massive hollowed out area. You don't usually get those naturally because this is an old quarry. I'm just going to try and get the camera over here. Nope, not quite. I'll do better later on. Anyway, so um, that's the old quarry. And in my, I've shown you some previous footage from my uh, explore here another day where I went up a footpath thinking it was the old tramway. And I couldn't have been more wrong. It didn't go that way. It literally just went into this ditch. I don't know what you saw then, but that's where it went. You see, what happened is I uh, I talked to people. Shouldn't do it, I know. But yes, I spoke to some locals who gave me some local insight, local history about the area. And told me all about the quarry here. And they even gave me some dates, which I've done some research. And I think they back up my theory. Well, a theory, anyway. So, while I walk down to the bridge, let's go over what I've learned. So... Their house was built in 1812, and it abuts onto the road with the supposed tramway on it. Sorry, I had some rickety steps to go down. And um, that's before the canal that went through, Macclesfield Canal, because we're talking about Bridge 41 here, of course. So, Bridge 41 was built around about the same time as this house, I reckon, 1812. Which means, that's why I can't see it on any of these maps, because, well, the maps don't go back that far, or go back too far. And I reckon it ran from about 1812 to up until the canal was built, or maybe beforehand, since it's not on any of these maps. So, yeah, I reckon that's sort of when it happened. I've, like I said, I've already recorded a section actually going down this footpath. It's changed a bit since then. Uh, so I'm going to spice in some footage so you will see outfit changes. So um, please, yeah, I'm not going to waste the footage I took. I spent a while getting that, so... The, the, the facts are the same, it's just I've now learnt more. So these are just amendments, really, to the previous video that I made. But let's go back down to the bridge, shall we? So because I'm me, I want to fight the fight for this being a tramway. So let's put the evidence on the table about this area. So, first of all, we have the bridge. We can see here that it's very level, very straight, going straight down. Very unlike other tramway bridges, well, no, sorry, other canal bridges that have been built. So let's have a look at the comparison between the two bridges. So this is, I'm just walking down the side of it here. This is what this bridge looks like. Nice big wide arch, going all the way across the towpath as well. And if we go over here, we can see that there's another canal bridge, which looks a lot like all the other ones. Down here, where there's a boat currently going underneath it. 
that only spans a small area and the towpath ducks in. So the tramway is built, well, the, 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 this bridge that could have a tramway on is built very differently. And you can see in the distance as well, there's another one, which is like a humpback bridge. So these bridges are all built very differently, but this one is by far the most different, if you know what I mean. So all most, most tramway bridges have just this, excuse me, tramway. Most canal bridges have these like little arches. This one has quite a big one. So that's a big evidence for it being a tramway, in my opinion, because it's just built different. Next up, we've got some pretty big evidence here. Look, look at these, check these out. Could these be sleepers to do with rails? I've measured the gauge using my trusty feet. They're about a foot long. Uh, so if I go from this chair here, one, two, three, four. What's well, about? If the rails are in the middle of the chairs, four foot gauge. There's another one up there and they're perfectly in line. So this lines up with this one. There's another chair hole over there. Uh, got another one there, there, there and there. So could these be the, like the actual evidence of a tramway being here? Who knows? It's a very straight bridge. It went down that down there with the, uh, there's, a, there's a sports ball game going on. That's a area where they would have played, not played, uh, done brick, bricking. Oh, blimey neck. Stood in the puddle. These shoes aren't waterproof. An unexpected pleasure has occurred. I've just spoken to a local who may have solved the entire thing for me and I was very wrong. So behind me, you've got this house. That house is new. And behind there, apparently, was just a quarry. Straight up, a massive quarry going in exact alignment with this. And the lady said it's very likely that it would have been a lightly laid tram road and just a railed road. So there we go. That pretty much wraps this up for us. I am very grateful. They're actually giving me a book to read on the canals. So I'm going to have a read of that. That's fun. And yeah, so that wraps it up. I think that confirms it. Might have a tram road bridge in Mac. Interesting. Oh, I really need a tour with tripod. Anyway, so this is all the evidence I could find on this bridge. It's not a lot to go on, but I think I want to say it had a tram road, at least a rail road on it, because you've got the sleeper stones, you've got the angle of the bridge, you've got the age of it, you've got the, the other context and the local history. It all sort of adds up to there being at least rails on this bridge. Now, my personal theory, and I may be wrong, is there was a, a railway similar to this in Congleton in 1804. And the rails of that were lifted in about 1812, which lines up with the date of the construction of the houses around here and this bridge. So, maybe the rails from Congleton were lifted and bought here. I don't know, I could be wrong, but that's my theory and I like it. If you know better, please let me know in the comments below. Other than that, please, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on Abandoned. Shouldn't have ended it like that, that's a silly way to end. I'm just gonna walk off.